Hi guys, welcome back. This is Unfinished. I'm your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. And if you're just joining us right now, today we're talking about men's mental health, which takes us to our next question. Why do you think men find it hard to speak about their mental health? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I try to fight for Unfinished. Uh, it's because, you know, once you tell somebody your issue, he will not help you. He will only love it to you and say, also, me, I have my problem, so I cannot handle yours and mine. He just, he, he just heard what you said, but he is not able to help. Also, he is, in the other way around, he is like you. Also, he have a problem. So you cannot share your issue with somebody who is having the same problem with you. Eh, that's what I can say. But I would like also to urge men, just open your heart to your friends. Tell them what you are going through. Maybe one will help you, okay? But to keep quiet still is, is another challenging thing. I think it's because um, the society that we're in right now, we are, most men are taught not to express themselves. But in reality, you should express yourselves and learn how to deal with your problems effectively. Your masculinity. Men want to look masculine and they don't want to, to come out and speak. I love you, I support Nene. Okay, you know, but at the same time, I don't want to talk about it. So, mostly you find, even us as men, maybe in the world, we don't want to talk about it. So you can find, like, maybe I have a friend, maybe he's undergoing stress, so, so, uh, like as in, ningumu akuje. Let's say like in a relationship. Okay, there's this friend of mine. Alikuanga in a relationship. So, alikuanga na dem. So, akopo kwa supermarket. So, the girl, <laughs> alikuanga enda tu. Okay, the guy bado akwa mesi mama fit na na. So the the girl na enda tu na chukua kila kitu, lakini boy. Ataki kuongea, ataki kuongea zina mwambia nye sina pesa, juwa na juwa paki ongea mwambia taribika. So, unapata suo, as in, eh, wanashindo kuspeak. So, unapata sana kuja kwa msika, mimi ananiambia nyewe, nitopapia hii, tutalipana, vitukezo. So, unapata hivyo ndo wanuongea, lakini as in, eh, pressure, kwanza madem, pressure, pressure. Eh, adi madem atafte pesa mwani. Ata zizi, eh, like in answer, eh. Okay. So, uh, in my culture, I think so, the men are still afraid, uh, like, um, uh, so they don't want to speak about health because it's some, some, uh, somehow stigmatized uh, by the society. Because men are usually uh, not supposed to, like, for instance, to visit uh, therapists psych or psychologists. And uh, so because, yeah, the men has, have to be strong. And uh, so, and, in, in, and if, uh, for instance, uh, something goes wrong in your head, so uh, usually you are supposed to, to, to handle it all alone. And I think this is the main reason, at least in my culture. Uh, in African society, the, our culture, it may build, it may, it may, it may educate sana to Africa, like a man should always be strong. So if you open up, you look weak. But in real sense, opening up is the best way to deal with your mental health. But according to our culture and the way we are raised and everything, a man should be strong, of which I don't support that. I support a man opening up anytime, especially in relationships. When you open up, your woman will feel like, ah, this man is very weak, so childish. <laughs> yeah. They fear speaking out because the fear akuna msi atawaskiza akuna msi atawachukulia like this thing is serious what a simom say um say kuna vinyara to pima unlike ladies the ladies like you on a depression kila msi atakpo hapo hivyo kumuliza hey what's up nini nini but when a man speaks out like the society will judge him in a negative way so the fear ni hiyo like Nikisema, ata nikisema aja kuna vilinda saidiyo. Sura zikiangi zi story za boy child. Eh, sumizo, hakuna, hakuna vile boy child uskizo. Matrakwa yake hakuna vile yu tengwa. Eh, 
As I said, a man wants to be a man. He wants to be a king in the jungle. He wants, uh, he wants to be found uh, or seen as the problem solver, solution giver every other time. So a man will always keep quiet, finds solutions from inside, which at times will not work. So every time a man is silent, maybe he's trying to figure out a solution. He's trying to cook out solutions. Uh, that's the way that he can find some peace of mind. And it is also a way to keep away people from talking about them. Uh, for instance, maybe you give someone your problem and then the other minute you hear someone else is talking about your problems and another person is talking about your problem. To avoid all that, men prefer keeping quiet. And I think that's the way they found their solution. Which I don't know if it's a, it's a good way. Maybe we can have a psychologist to give us a, a way out about that. Yeah. I think once men open up, they're seen as feminine. Like, yes, as I've said, as you grow up as a man, you have, as when you compare the way boys are raised, girls are raised, boys are raised to be strong. They are raised to, to have, to have to know like everything that happens. They have to figure it out as opposed to girls. So, um, yeah, and yeah, once they open up, they're seen as feminine. They're seen as weak. You're not seen as a man enough. So. I think that's what stops them from opening up. It is very important because, you know, in the Bible, if you go back to the Bible a bit, uh, the Bible said that uh, a man is a seed. It's a seed. And without that seed, uh, co creation will not continue. And the same, same quote in the Bible, okay, I'll not quote the verses, but I know the books in the Genesis, when God created a man, he commanded uh, together with uh, go and multiply. So if the seed cannot multiply, so that's, that's the consequence number one. It cannot multiply. Another thing, uh, uh, if now a man is going through a lot, there is a lot of uh, uh, social problem. Because if it happens that man will get a family, the family will be already break down because we are, we are a product of our surrounding, of our environment. And that's something, you know, it, it takes time to heal. So first of all, there is no continuation of generation. Uh, the society will be, it's like it's empty, it's empty, because without a man, no seed. And if the seed is not, it's dominant, and then there's no life. And if it happens that there will be life, it will be gloomy. Yeah, because he cannot take responsibility as, a, as how he's supposed to do. The society expects us to be strong enough to handle the several cases like Men are, are expected to be the family member, the head of the family. So one, once the head of a family has shown a weakness in, in a certain area, maybe we fear we may lose the family trust and any other things. So we end up suffering in, in, in secret way. Generally, they're judged by the society, the sinners. Um, weaklings let's say like that so they want to prove the society wrong and somehow they don't feel comfortable sharing their stress and stuff i feel like men are unable to talk about the mental health problems that they have because of the stigma that is associated with them being able to share about how they feel the fact that society has made them feel like individuals who are supposed to handle their own problems by themselves and also thinking that sharing is a way of showing weakness. I would encourage us to listen to our men. Let's give them a ear and let's not judge them for speaking up. Which takes us to our last question. Why do you think men's mental health is important? Let me know what you think in the comment section. It's really important because uh, when you have peace of mind, you can do a lot of things. You can focus, you can uh, regulate your energy towards something that you're doing but if you're having mental issues it's really hard for you to focus on what you're trying to do especially when you know your purpose and when you know what you're supposed to do i think it's important for for the growth factor I, men should always be constantly developing so that they can take care of whoever they have to take care of and themselves as well <laughs> so there is like an obvious answer for that i think just because so you have to be like healthy in all spheres of your life right so and mental health is, 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 is in fact is the same as the physical health so I, 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 I do not distinguish them in fact because you can you, uh, so uh, 
so according to many definitions of health so health uh, so health is uh, when you when you are healthy both mentally and physically and if you are for instance healthy mentally uh, physically but not uh, mentally it's not health right yeah, yeah. so for me there, there is no distinction between both between the two I think it's important because as much as we need the feminine uh, part in our society, we need the masculine part. So if the masculine, the men are not empowered, if the boys are not empowered, if they're not well taken care of as their mental health, I think that will affect our society in many ways. Like now we see most of the, the gender that is most affected by drugs are men. So if the moment we don't uh, focus on them and we don't take care of them, then I don't see a future whereby we will have our boys and we will have our boys empowered and we'll have our boys being able to to step up as a as men in their families or even as men in their own uh, lives. From the word go, men is a, a man is the overall of everything in the house. Okay? And sometimes you don't have a job. Again, the job you are you have, maybe you are earning a very little money than the, uh, the expenditure you, you need. Hey, it's important. I'm talking about mental health. I'm fit. I'm I'm so fit, by the way. I'm so happy. But then I share stress. I'm so fit. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so Which is not good. So, uh, mental health is important. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. stress, man. Uh, no pressure, no pressure. It's, it's something that we are, I think we were trained since we are young. You know when you are young and you start crying, especially from this African community, you are told you are coward. Men are not supposed to cry. So you hear about this thing from inside, from day one. So as you grow up, you know that a man crying is, a, is, is like it's a crime. You are a coward. See, when there is this community, when you are circumcised, and then you, you cry, you shake, already you are a coward, you see? So you are supposed to be courageous. So speaking out, the sign of you are you are not you are not strong enough. You are not strong enough. You are not strong enough to uh, to be saying what you are going through all over. In fact, they will tell you uh, as now you are a man. A man is built up of problem and issues like that. Now you have to look for a solution, and sometimes the solution is beyond you. So that's that's why many men don't open up. And I like men. You see, when a lady has an issue, they will call the girlfriends. And they, maybe they come and they cry together. If a man has an issue, they'll take you to the club, you drink two beers, and then you go home. The problem is not sorted now, it's a continuation, you see? So they handle problem differently. Speaking up to them is like a weakness, something that you're not supposed to show. Men, mental health is important because a lot of, men, a lot of lives get off Young, young people, not even young people, even old people, especially men, they end up committing suicide. So it's, uh, and without them, like, our country will never grow. Because men do work a lot more than ladies. So when, when this thing attacks men, like, let's say the society will rot, will, will, the society will be dead without people. That's why it's important to hear what men out here are going through and try to help them. Um, basically, the, the breadwinners of the family. So to be mentally stable, they must live in a conducive environment. Let's say, partly at home, they should be peace, you see? And also that <laughs> they should be peace, that's all. Um, first of all, I can say, because men, as the head of the family. So mental health is, is always important because we have other people who depend on us, on us fully. So if we go to wrong, wrong direction, the effect can uh, have largely affect the society because of the dependency and, and any other things. Also, the, so the society ex expects a lot from us. Uh, and stuff of production, nurturing, and, and uh, the art, we also have a lot of energy, so we are expected to help in pushing the society and the country forward. So when we are stressed and we have positive mental health, uh, I think it can affect us largely. 
not from the society, but as a country or to the world in any level. Men's mental health is uh, vital, not only important, simply because uh, men, uh, they are, we, we find that, that men are the main source, main source of uh, foundation in, in family, in a nation, and everything. So it is important once you don't have uh, men on sober men, mind, uh, things will fall apart. So I, I think it is vital because this man is required by the family for, for the family to be set up, for you to have children, they all have to look at the daddy who is a man. Uh, for the parents, uh, once at their old age, the man is the one who is left at home, the lady goes to the, uh, to the spouse place. So he is vital in making sure even the parents are okay. Uh, the man is also a physical, uh, the, a, a very, uh, a very, um, we say it's, it's a very fundamental factor, even in the growth of the nation. You see, once, uh, like if you go even to the biblical fact of things, those men that were going to, those people who are going to fight for the nation in the old, uh, in the biblical fact were men, young men. So, men is the main source of the strength to everything else. He is the main source. So, once a man is broken, the entire society is broken. I feel like men's mental health is very important because we do view them as leaders, especially in our families. And you know, that does not just affect the husband or the father, it tickles down to the whole family and their loved ones. So let us be able to show them love, let's not hurry them, let's not pressure them, and let us show love to our brothers, um, our fathers, our boyfriends and husbands. We have come to the end of this show. Thank you for watching. I am your host, Eski Gitonga. See you next time. Bye.